What's up everybody, Chris Ponsalon here, back with another video. So the other day I was at a coffee shop editing a video and the guy that was working behind the counter um, throws on his playlist and it was like some really like lo-fi, chill, like homework edit type beats. So I went home and I was inspired to make a beat. Um, so the first thing I did was I went through Booney Mayfield's Boon Bap Loops 3 kit and I found this drum loop. Removed some of the highs and a little bit of the lows. Then on my master channel, I threw in a plugin by Waves called L3LL Ultra, and then I used the preset Loud and Proud. Then I threw on a mastering preset in Ableton called Make It Loud. Then I threw on an EQ and removed some of the highs. Then I threw on a little bit of distortion. At the end of the video, I'll bypass all of the effects so you can hear what the beat sounds like with and without the effects. Then I went through my sample pack called DeLorean and I was looking for something really spacey and ambient, so I chose this sample. Threw it in with the drums and I transposed the sample down five semitones. And since the original sample was an E major, uh, transposing it down five semitones would make it one, two, three, four, five B major. So then I had uh, the beat looping and I really liked how it sounded and I was really considering um, just keeping it like that and not adding anything else. But I knew it was missing some ambient sounds and a few extra instruments. So I wanted to add some ambient sounds. First ambient sound that I added was this rain noise. Then I threw in some forest sounds. And the last sound that I added uh, was some vinyl crackle. Then I took this grunt, this grunt, and this grunt, and sprinkled them in. Then I wanted to layer the beat with some light pads, so I went through the sample pack, went through the MIDI folder, dropped in the MIDI file, chose the VST Oberheim, chose this preset, then I added some light strings from Machine. Then I sprinkled in some keys using the VST Electric Grand by Addictive Keys. And the last thing I added to this beat was a mute trumpet by Trump. Did I say that right? Trump by Session Horns, which is a uh, contact library by Native Instruments. Now I'm gonna show you what the beat sounds like with and without the effects.
and that's the whole beat. Like with all of these beat making videos, I will play it at the end of this video along with my screen. It'll also be up on my SoundCloud and if you're an artist and you'd like to purchase a lease or purchase this beat exclusively, it will be on my beat store. Link for that in the description. Also the link to the sample that I used in this video is also linked in the description. It'll also be uh, the pinned comment to this video. That's gonna conclude this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. About to shout out some people from Instagram who you, who, who, who used the hashtag ChrisPunsalon365. Shout out to Kalamis, TPNS Beats, Them Boys, Dieste, and Siggy Beats. I will play your guys' beats at the end of the video. And yeah, if you have any suggestions or feedback for this video, please leave it down in the comments below. I do try my best to respond to every single comment unless it is spam. I just messed this whole outro up, whatever. Thank you guys for paying attention. Please pay your producers and please pay your loved ones some attention um, because they're important, you know? They're important. See you later.